have an old mug around your house that could use an upgrade? Adding a photo to your mug can be a fun and easy project, giving old mugs a fresh look. Whether it's a family photo or a funny saying, you can add any image you'd like to your mug. Even if you aren't a fan of DIY projects, you're still in luck. You can also try one of many online services that will print your images on a mug for you. Method 1. Making a photo mug at home. Grab a mug. Your first step in creating a photo mug is to find a mug you would like to customize. You can use any mug that you would like. However, you might want to consider the color, texture and shape of the mug. Generally, smooth mugs with a regular shape will work best. Mugs with a solid color that match the colors in your photo will also work better. Mugs with a bumpy or rough surface may be difficult to attach an image to. Mugs with unusual shapes can warp an image. Find a photo to use. Once you've selected a mug that you want to customize, you can pick out one of your favorite photos to use. You can choose any photo you'd like to print out and apply to your mug. Have fun picking out a picture that you think would be a good fit. You will only be able to use digital photos. Your photo will need to be printed out. Check the size of the photo. Before you print your photo out and apply it to the mug, you should check the print size of the image. You will want to make sure that the image will fit in the area of the mug you've selected. Any image that is too big or too small may end up making your mug look differently than you had planned. It can be useful to measure the planned image space on your mug before printing. Before you print, most printers will give you a print preview. This will likely tell you the dimensions of the printed image. If the image is too large or small, you will have to resize the image. Print the photo using transfer paper. Now that you have an image ready to print, you should load up your printer with transfer paper. Transfer paper is special printing paper that will allow you to permanently stick the image onto your mug. Make sure your printer is loaded with transfer paper and not regular paper before printing. Spray the paper with clear acrylic coating. Some transfer printing papers are already coated with an outside seal. However, if your transfer paper is not, you will need to apply a clear acrylic coat to the image once it has been printed. This will help make the image last longer and will make your mug dishwasher safe. You can find clear acrylic coating in most hardware or home improvement stores. Make sure you fully coat the entire image you are using. Allow the coating plenty of time to dry before continuing. Cut the image out and soak it in water. After your coating has dried, you can cut the image out, trimming away the rest of the paper sheet. Once the image is the size and shape you want, you will need to soak it in water for a few minutes. This will prepare the image for application to the mug. Fill a small bowl up with water. Put the images you want to apply into the water after you've cut them out. Make sure the images are fully submerged. The images will need to soak for around one minute before you can apply them to the mug. Apply the image and let it dry. Once your image has soaked in water, it is ready to be applied to the mug. Take the image out of the water, remove any backing from the paper, and stick it on the mug. You can make some adjustments to the positioning of the image before it dries, so don't worry about getting it perfect at first. Once you have the image where you want it, allow it plenty of time to dry. Although you can make some initial adjustments, you will want to work quickly to position the image. Wash the mug. After the image has dried in place, you'll want to wash the mug before using it. This will clean away any residue from the application process. Once your mug is clean, you can start using it and enjoying your newly decorated mug. Method 2. Ordering a photo mug. Compare prices. There are many services that will print images on mugs for you to enjoy. However, not all of them offer similar prices. You may find that some services will cost less than others. Take some time to compare the quality and price of different printing services before choosing one. 
Many printing services can be found online. Make sure there aren't any hidden costs. For example, a service might display the cost of the mug and keep the printing cost separate. You might be able to find promotional codes or coupons. Have a digital photo ready. Almost every printing service will require you to have the image you want to use in a digital format. These services will require you to upload the image you want to use before they can create the mug for you. Keep in mind that there may be additional requirements for your image file. Take some time to review what the printing service needs before they can make your photo mug. Your image will need to be in a digital format. Some services have image size requirements. Your image will need to fit within the printer's specifications for image size. Some printing services only use certain file types. Make sure your image is an acceptable file type before uploading. Sign in and select a product. Once you have a photo ready and have found a printing service you like, you can make an account and select the mug you want. Most printing services will ask for some basic information when you sign up. Once you've registered your account, you can find a mug that you would like your image printed on and start the ordering process. You will likely need to provide your email address, shipping address, and payment information when registering for a printing service. Many sites have a wide range of mugs and cups that they can print your photo on. Take some time and find one that interests you the most. Upload your photo. Once you've found a mug that you like, you will need to upload the photo that you want printed. Most online printing services will have a clearly labeled button or option to upload the photo you want to use. Your image will usually be applied to create a preview image of what the completed mug will look like. You may want to resize or edit your image if it doesn't fit the mug correctly. Always review the preview image before ordering to ensure that your mug is exactly how you want it. If you are having trouble, most printing services have a help department that you can contact with your questions. Order your mug. If you've uploaded your photo and are happy with how the mug will look, all that's left to do is finalize your order. After the order is placed, the printing service will create your photo mug for you and ship it to your address once it's completed. Keep some of these things in mind when finalizing your order. Check for a refund policy in case the item is lost or broken in shipping. Most packages will ship with a tracking number that allows you to follow the photo mug as it travels to your address. Double check your order details before accepting. And today Make I'm going to show you how to print a latte mug you using your mug press. The mug press that I'm going to use today is our 3-in-1 mug press. It has heating elements for a standard mug, 11 ounce to 15 ounce mugs, a small latte, 12 ounce, or a larger latte or tumbler. All these come included with the heat press. I've already uh, put on my small latte because that's the one that we're gonna be pressing today. The other items that you'll need are your sublimation printer, your sublimation transfer paper, your heat transfer tape, pair of scissors to cut it out, your glove, Nonstick sheet, a bowl of warm water, and your mug press and your latte mug. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to take my printed transfer sheet. Now you can't really notice, but it is a mirrored image, and I've used my template that's located on our website. So under each sublimation product, product you're going to click on the download button for the template and that's it'll just make it easy for yourself it includes a printable area as well as a bleed okay so just cut it out and you're just going to cut just around it doesn't have to be tight to it okay we're ready for our latte mug. You're just gonna take your latte mug and place it directly in the center. Line it up. And place a piece of tape on either side. And you are ready for your heat press. You're gonna take your nonstick sheet 
and wrap it around your mug. And now the most important thing is the placement within your mug press. You want to make sure that the latte mug is directly in the center of your heating element. So when you place it in here, make sure that you have the same distance on the left side and on the right side. Push it down so it touches the bottom of your heating element. And then you're going to lock it closed. I have my pressure set at medium to heavy. My time is set at 240 seconds or four minutes. My temperature is at 400 degrees. And when I mentioned that you want to have it touch the bottom of your heating element, if it doesn't touch the bottom, the distance between your mug and the heating element will cause it to not print properly. So always make sure you push it in so that way it hugs it tight when it, you lock it closed. Your mug press is all done. Slip on a pair of gloves. Open it up, slide it out, and you're just going to take off your tape and your paper. And perfect. You're just going to dip it in your warm water. This will help stop the sublimation process and cool down your mug a little bit faster. And there you go. Perfectly printed latte mug. All it needs, some coffee. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out all of our other videos and products on the Pro World website. Good luck and happy printing.